When I talked about um, building a world that works for young people, I was actually saying that there are certain things that we've got to deal with. Um, for example, the kind of narrative that we have about the young people, I think that is where to start. A lot of young people define themselves as energetic, as strong, as bold, as beautiful. But when you look through the adult lens or you hear through the adult lips, what you hear is these young people are restive, they are restless, they are stubborn, they are not listening. All of this negativity undermine young people's ability to be able to be themselves and fly. A lot of them actually want to fly. And we've got to give them, we've got to empower their wings. So the starting point really in creating that beautiful world where young people can be themselves is for us to deconstruct some of this negative coloration and you know constructions that we have created around them because they can actually be very inhibiting. And, and, and then of course we've got to give young people tools. A lot of young people are dealing with internal issues, low self-esteem, some of them don't even know what to do, peer pressure, and a, and, and a lot of things. So we've got to build their power within. How do we do that? We've got to help them appreciate themselves. We've got to make them see that, look, if you're different, you're different. And it's, and it's cool to be different. We've got to build their power to be able to act. A lot of the issues we're dealing with, you know, especially regarding inequality, young people can actually become leaders and agents of change in actually driving some of these changes. We've got to build their power to be able to actually act. There are, there are countries where there are no laws protecting young women or girls from violence. We've got to empower young people to be able to, to, to be part and parcel of that struggle. We've got to build their collective power. A lot of young people are mobilizing using social media, using new technology. We've got to build their power to be able to organize, connect voices from local to national to international. It is key that we do that. These are all layers of power. And then of course, there are obnoxious laws, negative social, I mean, social um, norms, you know, that, that define what a boy should do, what a girl can do or cannot do. Some of them are not written in any books. We've got to find a way to actually, you know, I mean, dismantle some of the social norms. We can't do any of this without evidence. We've got to keep collecting evidence and they, they need to be credible, they need to be nuanced, they need to be fresh, they need to be able to, you know, inspire us to act differently. Even in V4C, we, prior, we prioritize collection of evidence and I, I happen to be leading that process. We came up with a research that we call Being a Man in Nigeria. Even the team alone was mind-blowing. People wanted to know what it is. What, what is it like being a man in Nigeria? On the 22nd of October, when that report was launched, that was the second highest trending issue in Nigeria. So a lot of activities were built around the evidence. And I think that, I mean, Young Life and so many organizations that have prioritized generation of evidence is fantastic. And I think a conference like this is awesome. We should promote this.